Hello, I'm, I'm... Uh, what do you want? Do you want to buy charcoal? No, no, I don't want charcoal, actually. Uh, I was... Uh, I, I want water. Water for what? I, I, my, my, my carburetor is bad. I, I want to fill it with water, please. Our son has vehemently refused to take another wife from this kingdom. The death of his fiancée uh, shattered and left him totally displaced. It's obvious. So is he going to mourn less for the rest of his life? Is that it? The sudden demise of his fiancée will now make him to mourn for the rest of his life. What are we talking about? Alice is dead, buried, long forgotten. I mean, he should move on with his life. It's not an easy role, the way you make it seem. Alice was with his baby before her death. Josh loved her so much. At times, I cannot even believe it myself that Alice is dead. Huh. I remember the day she left this palace to her father's house only for this girl to meet her sudden death on her way home. No doubt, her sudden death is a heavy blow to her family and that of her own family, especially Josh. This is one year on and our son has automatically become a ghost of himself. Your Highness, all I'm saying is, our son should please pick up another maiden from this kingdom and marry, does it? In as much as we want Josh to get married to another, we should be careful to, you know, let him be. Let us allow him to take it easy. Allow him mourn his loss as long as he wishes. Honestly speaking, I do not like the way you sound. Of course! Have you forgotten that Josh is our only son? Do you want him to just relax like that without getting married? Is that it? McQueen, our son Josh is depressed. Giving him a breath of fresh air could only mean social intelligence for all he think. This is not sounding right in my ears, believe me. I was even thinking that he would choose from the seven maidens presented to him. Even to choose your know who's daughter. You know, they were close. So I was thinking that he would even go for know who's daughter. Only for him to prove me wrong. I don't like your What is it? Chukun also, you're welcome. Thank you. I just remembered my parents. It's so sad they are no longer here. 
At least. I know they would have been proud of me. Yeah. At least they will be happy you are alive. They will also be happy that you sat for your examination and you cleared your papers. Thank you so much. I wonder what I would have done without you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. You're welcome. All I need from you is your prayers. Yes, that's all I need. But not to worry. When I hammer, I will come and take you out of this village. With hammer? Don't worry, I understand. Meanwhile, someone came here to do and asked me for water for his carburetor. Ah, who is that? Um, I think he's the prince of our land. Yes. He's huge, fair, no light skin. And Prince Josh. You know I don't really know he schooled abroad. I, I I don't really know him, but it was when he was living that I saw the ark on his hand. Wow. It was already too late. I would have gone to apologize to him because of the way I spoke to him. But then I mean, again. Dima, please don't tell me you spoke to him rudely. Ha! Huh. Jesus Christ. I have warned you to control the way you talk to people. But you know now, since I lost my parents, I'm just a different person. The thing, the thing broke me. I understand. I understand. But you still need to help yourself. You need to help yourself. Control, control, control that anger. How, how is, how is work going? Hmm. Market is slow as usual. Oh. Oh, wow. Anyway, just, just, just believe everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine. You want to open this one? Come on. Come on. You fought already. My bro, the auto will come over, I don't know. Market oh. is not moving. Market oh. is not moving. Oh, no more. How is your home? Small job, bro. Eh, how did you go? Thank God. I think something came out. It's good now, home calls. This world is bad now. Uh, if not, I wanted to see much in my boat. No problem. Oh, okay. okay. Intentional. Please, I'm sorry. Okay? You should be sorry for yourself for driving without looking very well. What took your attention? I didn't see you coming. How will you see me? Maybe it's a go something. How will you see me? It's okay, it's okay, please. Huh? I'm embarrassing him when he almost killed me. In fact, Dima. Hey! You are not going anywhere. You people are taking this matter very lightly. This is matter of life and death. I am nobody can call his baby. I would have injured myself. Take it easy. Don't okay. tell me to take it easy. Will you pay on his behalf? Okay, how much are we talking about now? Eh? 1,500. Huh? Ah, what is what? that? What is I did not have the convenience, oh, so okay, it's worry, just the money that I used to buy water and soap to wash my clothes. Please take care of your money. Eh? This is the best way to treat these animals. So when next they are driving, they will be careful and watchful. Is she your friend? Yes, she's my friend. Yeah, you tell her to slow down. She should take things slow, okay? What's that? My brother, please don't get offended. She has been like that since after the sudden demise of her parents. Oh, just enter your car and go. Oh, thank you. Dima! Dima! So you succeeded in 
Okay, give me out of the office. <laughs> Come on, man. Succeed. You need lunch. You need lunch. Moreover, you are overworking yourself lately. I know, right? Look. Nothingness matters to you anymore outside work. You know this, man. You know how it is. I'm happy I was able to pull you out of your office after so many, many paid attempts. Believe me, I've had a lot going on in my mind right now. But you will not understand. I understand everything, my prince. No life has not been easy on you. But you really need to move on. You know, on my way to the office today, I'm alighting to look for someone who's going to help me get water so I can fill in the carburetor. Okay? I had this melodious voice hmm. coming from a maiden. But unfortunately, he was. It was a sorrowful song. What? Did I hear you say she says Shako? Yes, you know her. This short, fair in complexion. Come on, man. Yeah, what about her? What? No, man. That girl is rude. That girl is rude. And of course, short. I would not want anybody close to me to have dealings with such a girl. You are the prince. You know, the manner with which um, she snubbed me even after I greeted her, she did not even respond to my greetings. You know, she was just very cold towards me. She's beautiful, yes. But she's not the only beautiful maiden in this kingdom. You know? You know, there is really something about that charcoal girl. There's something about her. And what about her? I mean, the both of us are one of a kind. When you think about it, I lost somebody. You know, she lost people in her life as well. You know? We just, we just connect and I'm really trying so hard to find out more about her. Only though, since there is no market, then we don't start going. Emma. You know my name? Of course I know your name. You were very snobbish to me today. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's okay, sir. Uh, Okay, yes, so it's okay. who is this place? Yes, sir. Ah. Why does everywhere look deserted? You stay here alone? Yes, sir. I stay here alone. Ah, what about your siblings and parents? I lost my parents. And I'm the only person they had before they died. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. So what? What happened to them? Both of them are late? Yes. My father fell from the palm tree and died instantly. My mother, on the other hand, could not bear the loss of her beloved husband. She fell ill and never recovered. Okay. Moreover, I didn't even have money to give her proper medical attention. That was how I lost her, unfortunately. So it's just me. It's okay. Please come. Let me offer you anything. You don't need to offer me anything. I'll just have water, okay?
pas ça. Non, non problème, c'est un instant. Just make yourself comfortable. Ok. See, I, I, I don't think you really understand what you want me to do. Just, just look at me. Eh? Poor Dima like me. You want me to marry the crown prince of our kingdom. What would the royalty think of it? What would they make out of it? Dima, allow me to bother my head about what my parents would make of this. Mba, my prince, no. My prince, no. I know why I'm insisting. I don't want to enter royal trouble. I don't want your family to, to, to start looking for me or, or, or to call me for anything. I don't have anything to pay for, fine. Miko. I cannot leave you alone. Can't you get it? I love you and I want to be with you. My prince, you can't love me. I have, I have nothing to offer you, my I... prince. Demma, how can you open your mouth to say this? That you have nothing to offer me? Of course you have a lot to offer me. Are you saying this because you want me to go away? It's not, it's not that. I don't have anything to offer you. I don't. My prince, for crying out loud, you are exposed. You are handsome, you are rich, you are influential, you have it all. Look at me now. Eh? Poor Chaco Sela. No money, no parents, nothing, nothing. I, I'm not even educated. Eh? We, are, we are what's apart, my prince. Biko, Biko, Biko. Please, I can't do this. No, I can't. Oh, you but so, Biko. Hi, God. I can't. Emma. I can't do it. Because you just listen to me. Our destinies are intertwined. I love you very much. I have been a loner since I lost my fiancé and my unborn child to the cold hands of death. I've not been able to think right until I met with you. Emma. I love you very much. You need to understand this. I love you and I will not leave until you say yes no, no, to no, me. No, no, please don't do this. Please don't do this. You want them to kill me. What if what if somebody passes now and, and sees you kneeling down for a commoner like I me? I don't care. Hey, my prince, please don't do it. Oh, my prince, stand up now. I will not stand up. My, my prince, please, you, you can't possibly do this to me. Please, please. Eh? Yeah. This is not working. Until you say what I want to hear, I will not stand up and I will not leave. My prince, this is not working. I just want you to understand that, Biko. Tima. Tima, you break my heart if you say this. Or is it because of your boyfriend? You're right. Chukun also is my boyfriend. We've been friends for a very long time, even before I lost my parents. But it's platonic. He feeds me, clothes me, does a whole lot of things for me, but he has never asked me out. He's just like a brother to me. It's not about him. We don't have any, any sexual relationship. Yeah, um, if you don't have any sexual relationship with him, say yes to my proposal. I can't. Come on again. My prince, I'm begging you. I'm sorry, I can't. I love you very much. Jesus. Please, I cannot stop thinking about you, Bikumi. Say yes to my proposal. She said she has nothing to do with Prince Josh. But it is obvious she's lying. Yes. No one can take away Dima from me. Not even the prince. A lady I have invested all my years for. A lady I have practically taken care of all these years. If the prince must get Dima, then he must be ready to fight me. Chimu, I don't understand this. The prince of our kingdom wants me, Chidema, to be his wife. Chineke Nabali How is that possible? 
How is that possible? Daughter of nobody. Nobody. Ordinary charcoal seller. It's not as if my parents were former this or former that. We are two parallel lines that can never meet each other. We are worlds apart. Ochi raptam. My God. What kind of thing is this one? I should be his wife. I don't understand. Maybe he's too Kesha. You can't be serious. Who am I? That he will even find me worthy to make such proposals. Yeah. You're thinking of the friend's proposal? You scared me. Yes, I scared you because you were thinking of the princess marriage proposal. I don't understand why the prince will ask me of all the people in this village. It's me that he finds worthy to propose to. Why did he go through me? Why? So you're scared. Yes, now you're asking me why won't I be scared? Why won't I be scared? If anybody starts giving me trouble, who will fight for me? Imagine if that girl that parades herself as a um, prince's wife, that's no who daughter. Imagine if she hears this kind of thing. Okay, bunu me buna. She will come after my life. Why no what true to God? Ha. Well, my own is that I hope they're not going to take you away from me. I hope you're not going to dump me. Wait. My lady, are you alright? Eh? Do I need to someone who is, who is not around? Because I don't understand what you mean by you hope I will not dump you. Dump you how? But your mind. Sis, your mind. Are we dating and you did not tell me? I don't understand you. Your mind. 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 You're really beginning to make this more confusing. Yes. You've always loved me. We've been friends for over how many years? And you never bothered to express your love and feelings to me. Why did you why did you wait till now? I didn't say it. So why are you saying it now? Eh? I have no choice. Okay, you remember the day I took you to the bush? Mm-hmm. That was what I was trying to tell you. Yes. She proposed love me, Bush. Here is not enough. Ibu Bush meet. You come here every day and you could not prophesy or propose your love to me. Yes. You must take me to the bush before you be bold enough. Even when we got. Did you tell me anything? Nah, yes. Biko, Biko, Biko. Yes. Please, please. Stop now. Chino, so don't do this. Don't do this, please. Please. My brother is seeing some new girl. I mean, these days he's always happy, he's not always moody. I think my brother is in love. Vivian, why are you making a fuse as though my brother proposed to you? Did he propose to you? Hmm. 
Cousin is in my line for you. I'm just sharing this for the first time. How come my brother proposed to you and none of us had an idea about it? Hmm. Vivian. My brother proposed to you and I had no idea about it? Oh, of course. He's back from the office. He drove in some few moments ago. He's upstairs. Okay. All right. Easy. Huh, Vivian. This girl will never change. No. the hell can't this Bibian girl leave me alone? Hello, Hello Bibian. How are you, Bibian, in your best interest, I advise that you stop calling me your love. And stop stalking me. Bibian, I don't love you, okay? Can't you get it straight? You're not my kind of woman. Did you just say that I'm ranting? Why are you calling me? So I should not call you. Is that what you're saying? Bibian, listen to me. I just got back from the office, okay? And I need all the rest that I can get. So, what is keeping this person? Did you not say that she will soon be here? Mom, please calm your nerves. She will be here soon. Well, it took an eternity to get to this place. All right, that's by the way. Now, whose daughter of a multimillionaire is she? Mom! What? Oh, Mom, I think at this point, that is not the paramount thing here. But just shut up. You know, a lot, man. Lot should be the utmost thing here, and no family for ground. I mean, you have a name to protect. We are royalty, so must be careful with who we associate. With. As royalty, we must know little about everything. I've always told you. Father, what is it with royalty, royalty, royalty? Like we're no human beings. But this is the reason why I have not brought any man home. Because he's not royalty or son of one billionaire. But that is not nice. Oh, I see. You want to see the prince? Yes. Like this? Please, let me see him. He's expecting me. You want to see Prince George? My, 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 forget out of this place. What are the girls What is going on? Oh. Please don't be up in the here.
Meet the man, the absolute love of my life. Greetings, my king. Demma, meet my father, His Royal Highness, Igwe Roland Iwazo, and my mother, Queen Ugomba. Greetings, my king. Greetings, my queen. Greetings, my princess. Why did you bring him this thing into this room with Whoa! Mom, please, I beg you. Do not embarrass my guest. Why? What? I haven't chosen madness to leave you. Do you know who you are? When you brought Alex, your late Phyllis, we welcomed her with our open arms because of her weakness. But what's the name of this? Dad, I know who I am, okay? And Dima is going to be my wife and the mother of my children. Never. They'll be over my dead body. Are you still standing here, young lady? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Come here, boss. You brought in somebody that has no name, no class, characterless human being, as what? That meaningless, low life, scumbag of a girl is whom I have chosen. It is Dimma or nothing. No one knows tomorrow. Hey, we do not have last forever. Joy was come. Also, we need some good energy. Hey, Major, Major. We do not go last. This is not fair at all. The way you treated the man was not nice. I'm sorry, but I'll not be a part of this. Shut up! Now, one more word from you. Am I not free to love any maiden of my choice? Is this what royalty is all about? Treating your subjects like they mean nothing? When I brought Alex, they wholeheartedly accepted her. Or did they do that because she was the daughter of a justice? Now she's dead. Why can't I love them? Man? Okay, princess, Papa, be the kingdom. Um, Chukumo, so please, I'm not in that mood. Wait, wait. Dima. So you left me to go and see the king and queen. Tell me, how did your meeting with your royal in-laws go? Please, please. I'm not in the mood for all this kind of Wait, thing. wait. Dima, we are meant for each other. You know I love you. Forget the fact that we are poor. But we are meant for each other. We are meant to be together. We are meant for each other. We are meant for each other. Iguarum. Ma, stop this thing you are doing. We are supposed to be together. We are of the same kind. You see, you see that money? I am going to go to the city and I will come back and I will get married to you. Stop all this thing you are doing, no? Not because of, not because of this little money you want to change your mind. After everything I have done for you. You, you, you want to leave me? You want to leave me 
to marry the prince? You want to leave me to marry the prince after everything I've done for you? After everything I've done for you? In fact, come on, see. What exactly am I living for? Can you get How can you be saying you have nothing in this world again when you have me? Moreover, is that the only option that is left for you now? Chino, so what exactly am I living for? I don't know why, why God Almighty have decided to play deaf ears to my tears. Why am I cursed? Eh? You know, I, I, I don't I don't understand you. Is it because the royal family rejected you from being the prince's pride? That is why you, you're making this statement. Let me tell you. This is God telling you that the royal family is not your destiny. My dear, why would God tell me they are not my destiny? Abuam Chuku Katapot. Just now that I thought that God has come to wipe my prolonged tears. Eh? Don't I deserve something great in my life? I've been crying, I've been going through pains, a lot of things. Look, look at how things are going. Eh? Dima. All this is happening because we are meant for each other. Hmm? Yes. Onye no onye, who are he might love you. Yeah. Stop this joke. He might love you. And why didn't you tell me since? Because I was waiting for the right time. So what makes you think this is the right time? I'm asking you now, please, because, 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 because I'm already paranoid. Yes, Moki, when they went. Don't come and add salt to already existing injury. Eh? I've known you for how many years? You have never told me that you love me or you have feelings for me. Eh, Gwamunjo? Eh, Chorom? Okay, Mechiono. Right time. Now that you have seen that Prince has declared interest in me and the royal family are not really accepting me. You want to take that advantage, Ki Weroba. I talk about emotional blackmail. Please don't do it. Don't do it. You have never asked me out. You have never told me that you love me. You have never told me that you want to marry me. You have never told me you want me to be your girlfriend. Oh just night. Just like kissing as on Oroba. Guy, be Don't demand me. Why is it me? Dima, I love you. I love you. Ah. Tell uh, Ijama to fetch my son his chamber. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let him come down for dinner because I have questions for him. What question? The information I gathered about him. What information? I'm not going to say anything until he comes down. All I know is that my son will never marry that smelly girl. Of course, he will not marry that girl. Why? Is it because she doesn't look rich to both of you? Mom, Dad, both of you did not bother to ask the daughter of whom she is. I don't care. I mean, I don't want to know whose daughter she is, so... Keep quiet. Mom, there is absolutely nothing wrong in the priest choosing someone that makes him happy. My son will never, ever, ever marry that girl, Ziga. Yes. Vivian, yeah, don't know whose daughter is the best for my son. Mm -hmm. Dad? Yes. Vivian, that braggadashio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad. For the best interest of this royal family, please, please, Vivian is a no. Yes. You. I'm not hungry. Go away. My prince, you need to come out of your shell. 
You've been indoors for days now, without food or water. Ijoma, why do you care? I care a lot about you, my prince. Despite the odds and challenges, you just need to hang on there until you succeed. Ijoma, I hope you've been listening to me. Go away, I'm not hungry. Should I get the food here for you? I am not hungry, don't bring any food here. I still do not understand what is going on. What is keeping Josh from joining this table? Whatever that is keeping him should still hold him there. I don't care anymore. Whether he comes down to it or not is his business. He's an adult. Mom, why are you being so irrational? The person you're talking about here is your son. Your only son. So? The heir apparent to the throne. Now what do you want me to do? To go up and kneel down for him. Probably drag him downstairs and force the food down his throat. Is that what you want? Mom, you don't expect him to eat. I mean, if reverse is the case, I would have done the same thing. Mom, you would mess things up for him. You know what I'm doing? Excuse me? Simply because the simple truth was told of him, is that what is acting this way? Dad, what truth? I don't know. What truth is that? You don't know? That you did not allow him to get married to the woman that gives him happiness. Is that the truth? My son will not and will never marry that Chako Sela. Never. Chako what? Of course. Chako Sela. Yes, father. I'm so tired. Jesus, oh, they're going to come for Igwe. Igwe, your days will be long ago. Igwe is back and held you again. No? Igwe, we are happy to have you. Igwe, welcome. Nothing will happen to you. Igwe, you oh, fire, look, he's waving. Oh. The charcoal seller. Oh, I see. I think she's happy to see the real convoy. Oh, <laughs> I see that. Oh, Father, she's praying and thanking the gods that you came back alive. Ah, may the gods be praised. She looks so beautiful. Is that what you think? Of course. <laughs> well, uh, she's a, a woman like you, so... <laughs> Did you say that girl uh, is a Shako seller? Yes, Dad, there's some girl you know. <laughs> You mean the girl that uh, we drove past her shop that they will return from India? Is that? <laughs> she is? That girl will never be my daughter-in-law. Never. Father, that girl has a good heart. Remember the day we were coming back? She was so happy and praying and thanking the gods. Mm. But you survived his surgery. Mm. <laughs> but I so you see, she's a good girl. Uh, yes, I, I noticed uh, how she was limping in joy on, on seeing the royal convoy, you know, heading to the palace. Uh, I remember vividly, she, she was all smiles. Yes, father. Excuse me? Sweetheart, what are you trying to do? Just trying to conquer? No, just brooding. Mm -hmm. Just brooding. Hmm. Oh, this is nonsense. Mom, come on, eat your food. Now eat. She's my love. It's okay. Eat. She's my love. Something doesn't seem right in this palace. Like, I've been trying to phantom it, but I can't. Prince Josh brought in late Alice of the Blessed Memory to this palace, the royal home. Everyone welcomed her with open hands. Now he decided to move on with his life after mourning his news. He even went out to bring a maiden from the lowest background that is not pleasant. All hell broke loose. The prince married a new daughter. Then, then, he's the biggest winner. 
what does that Vivian girl got to offer us? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My own is that his highness and his queen should allow Prince George to follow his heart. Who should be Vivian, 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 Vivian? You will be free in Nigeria. I don't, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even understand. Beauty pageants called most beautiful girl in the whole world. Is she more beautiful than I am? Just negotiating with you guys. Eh? On a wait, just no, no, no. It's not funny. That girl is no more beautiful than I am now. What does she even have that I don't have? I can cook with your. See, she thinks he's answering most beautiful girl. Can she enter the kitchen? She, and she thinks he's, he's fixing me and be doing and be doing a hand like Let this. Let her enter the she kitchen. She was just born. Can't you see? My brother meets that girl. That girl has a good heart. And she has an enduring spirit. She was all happy in thanking the guards and praying that the king came back alive. So he was the Chaco girl all along. How come my brother never told me he fell in love with the Chaco girl? Oh, gods of our land. How do we remedy this? How will the prince convince mom and dad that he wants to be with this girl? How? Are you down Mom, you've been standing here. Now I need you to pass this message to that charcoal seller. I do not want to see her anywhere around this vicinity. For the day she will step her foot in this palace again, I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. Mom, please, can you just allow them be? That median is a good median. And besides, the prince's happiness is all that matters. Onowu's daughter is the best for my son. Mother, Bibian, I am not going to recommend Bibian for anybody. I mean, for someone like Prince George, he doesn't need somebody like Bibian. Hey! Now you let it be. Pass this message to her. Hm. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Please let me be, I want to be with my love Please let me be Singa, 
Design coming from Europe. Mm -hmm. You watched the catalog. Right? Yeah, I yeah. saw it. Just that um, the I one feel from it's, it's too busy. Oh, yeah. From from the finishing yes, line. Yes, please. Yes. Oh, well, the other means... one, the other brown one. What becomes of every one of us? What becomes of the kingdom of Amichi? Dad, I beg you. Please allow him be with the one he truly loves. Please! Never! <laughs> I'd rather die than allow him to. A thing like that. Your brother locked himself up in the room for days. And he refused taking anything. No food. No water. Now can I ask you the question? How does the decision an adult taking for himself affects your father and I? Whoa! Prince Josh is your son! Oh. You carried him in that womb for nine months! You better him! Oh, please show some empathy, please! Nine months! And eight days to be precise! Yes! I gave birth to him, so don't remind me. Now what is all this? Did I lock him up? Answer me! No. Did your father lock him up? No. So why make it look like I'm a bad person here? Now what is all this? <laughs> but please. I beg you. I think that my brother is up to something. I overheard him committing his soul to God whilst he commits suicide. Mom, tell those maidens to return to their father's houses immediately. Why? Son, I'm asking you why. Why didn't you wait for the last person to finish? I did not have the patience for it. Mom, I am sick and tired of you and father forcing the maiden on me. I am tired of it. No! No one is forcing anyone on you. All we want is for you to choose a lifetime partner. All right? And the time is now. Josh, please. Do 
you love me? Of course. Good. Then you would wait for the right time. And I may find a partner befitting for me. And when the time is right, trust me, you would know. Because I would choose a bride just like I chose Alex. Please be patient. Stop doing this to me, mother. Now, what's going to happen to those girls back there? I'm asking you. What is... Now, what's going to happen to them? Those girls are the most beautiful and intelligent, smart girl we have in this class. Please. 